Hey, all of you sauce and gravy lovers out there, this is Johnny Mac, and we're gonna have another great episode today. I'm gonna show you how to make a dessert sauce. A thin caramel sauce, perfect for dessert drinks or dishes. So let's begin. This dessert sauce is a fairly straightforward recipe. It's very easy. One cup of granulated sugar, that's 215 grams, followed by two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of regular water. So after you've added these two ingredients, turn the heat to medium, grab a spoon or a spatula, and give the sugar and water a mix. Make sure that the water and the sugar are well combined. And this particular recipe is a little bit different from most caramel sauce recipes. We're going to stir throughout the entire process. And don't worry, you'll see it'll work out perfect in the end. And you'll slowly simmer the sugar and water mixture until it turns a light golden brown. That's going to take roughly about 8 to 10 minutes. And while you're doing that, on a separate burner on the side, bring 3 fourths of a cup or 188 milliliters of water to a boil. And I did this off camera on the side. Once the caramel starts to change color, everything happens fairly quickly. So make sure you have that boiling water ready and a spatula or a whisk ready to go. All right, so check it out. This is the color that we're shooting for. It's a light golden brown. You can always take it a little further if you want more of a bitter flavor. It's just personal preference. So at this point, take the sauce off heat, pour in the boiling water. It'll spit, it'll sputter, so just be careful. Don't burn yourself. And if you'd like to whisk and pour it in at the same time, that's fine. Put it on a trivet to the side, you can do that. If not, it's not a big deal. And don't freak out after you've poured all of the water in if you see a few clumps of sugar in the bottom. Just keep stirring, they'll eventually dissolve. After you've given it a whirl, put it back on the burner, turn the heat to medium to medium low, bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for roughly a minute until everything's dissolved. And because this caramel sauce is a thin sauce, it's a great flavor enhancer. You can put it in drinks like coffee or tea, just adds so much flavor. Or if you're making a cake and you want to moisten the layers to add a little flavor, this is a perfect sauce to do that. All right, Gravy Nation, this is your last step. Half of a teaspoon lemon juice, pour it in, stir it up, put it to the side, let it cool off. And a great thing about this thin caramel sauce is it has a liquidy, syrupy type consistency. And whenever you put it into the fridge, it's not gonna harden up. So if you wanna pour it into a squeeze bottle, you're ready to go, you can take it out, pour it into that coffee, that espresso, put it into a tea, drizzle it on a pound cake, put it on that cake that you're making for that birthday party or special occasion, and you're ready to go. Well, thank you Sauce and Gravy Nation for your kind support and for watching the channel. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you're not a member of the community quite yet, smash that subscribe button to stay tuned to the latest and greatest Sauce and Gravy videos to learn new sauce making tips and techniques. Thanks again, and remember to live, love, and make gravy.